Good morning and welcome to a different kind of edition of Monday Marketplace at Country Needleworks in Jenison, Michigan. I'm Pam. And I'm Sue. And Sue, what are we going to do today? You know, we thought it might be fun to talk about what we're working on. As you know, Pam and I are knitters and we enjoy, well, Pam's a knitter, a crocheter, a quilter. She's in everything, but we thought we would talk about what we're working on, what's on our needles right now. We don't just work in this place and just love it, but we also are very busy at home doing our own projects as well as all of you. So we thought it would just be fun to just give you some ideas as to what gets us excited when we're doing knitting or crocheting. So, yeah. so you can go first. Okay, I am working on a rinoculus, which is the sweater that's been around, I don't know, maybe three, four years. Mm -hmm. Something like 18,000 projects have been made. This is the pattern. We actually did a knit along with it last year, but my goal this year is to do a lot of summer knitting because why not? We have great fab or great yarns for making summer knitting uh, projects. So this is my rinoculus. It looks kind of wonky right now, but I've just finished up the um, yoke and I split for the sleeves. So this is my rinoculus and hopefully you'll see it someday in person. If you want to make a rinoculus for summer, we've got some great yarns. We've got this Remix, which would be fabulous, and we're going to talk about that again. It's a fingering weight. And another yarn that we have that I really love is this Sandsgarn Tin Lean, which is a cotton linen viscose. Mm -hmm. This would be fantastic. So just a kind of different way of thinking about our knitting that we could do a lot of cool summer knitting. So I'm working on my rinoculus. I split for the sleeves and I use these clever little barber cords, which we have here somewhere. In your little tin. In my, bag. yes, in my little tin. So the great thing about these, instead of putting things on waste yarn, you just hook it on to the end of your needle and you pull it through and that's where my sleeves are. And then when I'm ready to, to knit on them, I just hook my needle, whip my needle through there and I'm off and knitting. It also helps so that you can, you can try it on. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it falling off a cable and at yep. this point you want to make sure it fits before you go further. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's the great thing about top down knitting. Yeah. So this is my rinoculus. It really doesn't look like a whole lot, but this is where I am and hopefully, stay tuned, we'll, we'll show it to you soon. Yeah, that's okay. beautiful. What do you have going on, Pam? Well, I have a new model for the store. Oh. Our friend Elaine came with the idea for this pattern and um, it is crochet. So we're reaching out to you crochet people. Um, just try to get some more samples in here. This is called the McLace Shawl, and it is, and I've done a lot of crochet, but this one is something extremely different. It's all of these little motifs. Well, the first thing you think of is, oh, I don't wanna make a hundred yeah. motifs and put them together. You make the motifs as you go along. So it's a totally different style of crochet. It's probably more an advanced class or for an advanced crocheter. It's called the Breakaway Crochet Method. And there is some amazing tutorials that go with this pattern. Had I not watched the tutorials, I could not have done the pattern. And you are an experienced crocheter, I know, Pam. But this is a great, great fun. Now I'm addicted. I know the pattern. It's an easy repeat. It's a good TV knit. And I am making it out of the Remix Light. Okay. So the yarn they called for had some linen and some cotton and some hemp. And so this one's probably going to be just a little bit more drapey, but, um, oh, it's still just really clever. I love so it. So it's a DK weight. It's a DK weight. It's a DK weight. And we have a bunch Tons of different, of different and colors. even more, I think, than that. Yeah. So this is, is this the width or how wide will this, this is be? This is the width. Oh, that way. Okay. Not and this way. No. This way. You're gotcha. working it in a grid, actually. Oh, cool. It's like almost like working your own chart. Okay. And so you work it in a grid and it can be as long as you want it. It's going to take about two skeins of the remix light. Oh, that's light. great deal. Yeah. And so I think it's supposed, it's supposed to be a super long shawl. They're, they're saying, um... 56 inches in length. Okay, very cool. So, very cool. I love it. And it's kind of got that boho vibe right now. Everything's yes. kind of the 70s. Yes, I know. So, and that's why we chose the color. Yeah. So now I've got to show some socks. What's in your cute bag there? Well, this is our great fun knitting in the mitten bag that love we this. love. And it's a perfect um, one skein sock project. Or, but summer is for socks. Summer is for right? socks. Yes, they're it easy, is. They're easy to take to the beach. They're easy to work on in the car for travel. So I am working on a pair of socks for a friend for Christmas. Oh, those are beautiful. And it is out of our easel yarn that we 
have here, which okay. we have many, many different colors of it. Um, so this is how far this one is. I always have, well, you know, I more know. than one She's pair of socks. She's the sock queen, I call her. More yes. than one pair of socks on the needles. But this is the one that has priority right now. I'm doing a contrast heel in oh, nice. it. I'll do a contrast toe. That's really cute. And um, yeah, that's just kind of fun. Uh, what about you, Sue? Well, here's the thing. As you know, Pam, the 2023 was going to be my my year of socks. With my Sock Soul Sisters, a group of knitters here, we were going to knit six pair of socks. I am so ambitious. How's that going for you? Well, funny you should ask that, Pam. I have made one completed sock. That's Yay. progress. That's progress. And then I am on the upswing of my second to make a complete pair. So of my six socks, I've done one and three quarters. Now these are the Andrea Mowry, who I love, her bear paw socks that I'm, I'm working on. They kind of look like giant socks, to yeah. be honest. They're a little strange, but it's it's just a different flegal heel. Totally different construction yeah. for a heel. Yeah. yeah. Sue does have big feet, but they're not quite giant size feet. So I'm working on that. My goal is to be, well, I can never be as good a sock knitter that, as, as our true. pants. Anybody can be. But I'm, I'm trying something new. I love this because it has two different yarns, like this this Madeline Tosh. It, it, it's fun. It, the two fingerings make it about a light worsted or... I would, it's, or a a DK. Heavy, it's a heavier weight. Sock. Heavier weight, so mm -hmm. I will wear that with boots. But mm -hmm. I am so excited to see what you're working on. I'm chugging along on my socks for my summer going. of socks. So you keep going. I will keep working on that. But I love what that yarn does. Well, and that's why it looks like I worked really hard on it. You did work hard, and I know and, you did. And it's just progress, but it's not like I have to keep track of stitches. It's a great, easy travel knit. Um, yeah, the yarn does all the work. Those are the kind I like best, yeah. especially for gifting, because you want to get them made quickly. Quickly. And what pattern do you use for that pattern? Um, I just use the vanilla sock pattern. Okay. It's a pattern that I have put together for my classes, so I haven't memorized. And then after that, it's really no pattern at yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just a simple, straight pattern, um, because I can do it without thinking. Okay. So I, I can pick it. it up and set it down, because, you know... You take it down to the beach for an afternoon, and then you come back up, and it may be a week before you get back at it again. Right. So. Or a car trip, or whatever right, you got whatever. going on. But yeah. that's my goal someday. I'm working on these. I'm getting there. Get what there. are you wearing right now? Oh, I'm just wearing a shawl that we had yarn in the store for quite a while okay. back. Um, I don't think we carry the yarn anymore. It's just a simple summer weight, isn't summer it? Summer weight. I love it. I love the cottons. Um, just enough to keep... You know, air conditioning chill off yeah. or something, and add a little color. Add some bling and what on about you. Your gorgeous yeah. sweater. Yeah, this is a new sweater that I made. It's called the Pyramid Sweater. Yeah, I want to make sure that's right. The Pyramid Sweater. Again, as I'm pushing for more summer summer tops, this is a. Um, it's a, a cotton and silk, I believe it is. It'd be perfect out of our, we have some remix, which is a worsted mm -hmm. weight. So this would be fun out of there too. Yeah. So we've just got a lot of options. Summer's a great time to knit, it to is. knit socks, to knit summery projects. Yep. We've got some fun things you going on here. You inspire me to maybe make a couple more summer tops. Summer tops. And uh, you can keep working on your socks. I will. Okay. I will. I will. Yeah. All right. And so we just thought this would be fun. And until next time. Happy crafting. Yeah. See you soon. Bye-bye.